Joining me now, Eric Lecomte. He is the executive director of the Jubilee USA Network and advises the Vatican on global poverty. And Eric, with a welcome to you. We've heard this Pope speak about the poor almost everywhere he goes. In fact, here's what he said at the UN Friday. The poorest are those who suffer most from such offenses for three serious reasons. They are cast off by a society, forced to live of what is discarded, and suffer unjustly from the consequences of the abuse of the environment. So as you heard him there, he makes the connection between the environment and what happens to the poor as a result. Do you think his message is being received, it's being transmitted, and people are getting it? I think he, I think people are getting his message, uh, and certainly he's altered his message very specifically for the American people so they can hear it. You know, generally, uh, the central theme of this Holy Father's papacy is that we must all build an economy where no one is left behind. And when he talks about the environment, when he talks about peace, when he talks about migration, he connects it all to economic issues. When we joined him at the White House and at Congress, his central theme was we must protect the vulnerable. We mm -hmm. must address inequality. But at the United Nations, uh, as we just saw, what was amazing uh, was to see how technical uh, the Holy Father became about the policies that actually cause poverty around the world, that actually cause inequality. He went as far uh, not only to make that particular reference about the environment, but to talk about the need to stop the oppressive lending system and to stop what formerly was a sin in the Catholic Church, usury, uh, lending to people, to countries countries at high interest rates in order to make mm. a profit. Mm. Last night at uh, Madison Square Garden at the Mass there, he told those living in the city to watch for glimpses of the presence of God among the poorest of the poor. Let's listen to that. There are the foreigners. There are children who go out without schooling. Those deprived of medical insurance. The homeless, the forgotten, elderly. These people stand at the edges of our avenues and our streets in deafening anonymity. Why is this message so important to the Pope? Well, it's because he is talking about we have to have an economy that includes everyone. Mm -hmm. uh, and he continues to reference the millions that are being left behind. You know, since the financial crisis, more than 100 million people, mostly women and children, uh, have been pushed into extreme poverty. And these are the people that he's referencing. Um, this is a, a central part of his message. And I think what's been so exciting uh, is how specific and technical this particular pope is on these economic issues, that we need to change the structures. He's so specific, in fact, in his daily homilies, in his weekly addresses on Sunday in St. Peter's Square. He regular, regularly references issues like corporate tax avoidance, corruption, public budget transparency, uh, the need to stop secrecy jurisdictions, the need to stop the savage behavior of a small group of hedge funds that get their profits by exploiting poor populations. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's a popular pope with a popular message, but what really makes the Holy Father very unique is how specific and technical he's getting, as he did at the United Nations yesterday. Yeah, and I know your organization, Erica, focuses on debt relief for the impoverished. I mean, you're listening to all of these particular details that come from the Pope routinely, but my question is, what impact have you seen in terms of debt relief in, in helping the poor? Well, there are impacts, and I have to say, watching him yesterday was one of the most inspiring uh, moments of my entire life. To, to hear what he was saying at the United Nations, our organization, Jubilee USA Network, was founded by Pope John Paul II and other religious leaders, Jews and Christians all over the world, uh, in the great debt crisis, where the number one reason that countries were dealing with inequality, just like today, according to the International Monetary Fund, was because of their sovereign debt. And so Pope John Paul II urged us to win debt relief. And since our campaign began, we have won more than $130 billion of debt relief for the world's poorest countries. Yeah. And by international law, that money has to go into building schools and hospitals uh, in Africa, in the poorest
poorest parts of the world. And right now, what we've seen the Pope do in his speech is actually follow up on specific policy recommendations he's made that are moving forward both at the United Nations and to some extent uh, at the International Monetary Fund in Congress. This Pope actually called for the development of a global bankruptcy process at the United Nations. He alluded to it yesterday, and he said this is a necessity if we want to stop austerity programs in Greece, if we want to build an economy that leaves no one behind. Eric Lecomte, thank you very much uh, for weighing in on those things that are clearly important to the Pope and to the global economy and to the poor around the world. We appreciate your insights. And for all of you thank looking you, there to the left of screen, you are seeing the Pope who has left.